Let's take a look at saving images out of Google Slides to use in RISE 360. If you're familiar with working in PowerPoint, this is a pretty similar process, but I'll point out the differences when we come to them. As a bonus tip, I'll cover how to remove a background from an image. First thing we'll do is export a slide as an image. That works pretty similar in Google Slides as it does in PowerPoint. It is recommended that you be selective about the slides that you do this with. If your slides have a ton of text on them, once you export that slide as an image, that text is now embedded in the image and that can cause issues for accessibility because a screen reader won't be able to recognize that text. Okay, so here's the slide that I'd like to add to Rise. To export a slide as an image, we're gonna come here to File, we're gonna go down to Download, and then we're gonna select our file format. For this, I'm gonna use a PNG image, so that's gonna save my current slide as a PNG. I'm just gonna put that on my desktop. Now let's go into Rise. We're gonna come into All Blocks here to open our block library. Then we're gonna to come to Image. Let's do an image centered. And then we're gonna come in and switch out our image here. I'm gonna replace my image with my slide. So here's my slide now in Rise. I can come in, I can add a caption and I can also come in and add the alt text for, the, for accessibility. Now you can also create graphics using shapes in Google Slides. So let's go back to Google and I'm gonna come into a blank slide. And this process is, again, pretty similar to PowerPoint, but some of the steps to export as an image are a bit more complicated. So let's just go ahead, we're gonna add a couple shapes here. Nothing particularly fancy. Let's add a circle. Change the color. And now I could come in and I could add uh, an icon or some numbers or whatever, um, some text. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it simple for today. And now I can select my images. And I can come in and I can group them just like I can in PowerPoint. But this is where kind of the similarities end. Because in PowerPoint, what I could do at this point is I could right click on my image and I would have the option to save as a picture. But sadly, I don't have that option in Google. So I'm gonna have to do something a little bit different. What I can do is I can come into file and I can export this again as a PNG. But first, what I'd like to do is I wanna come into my background and let's make sure that our background is transparent. So right now it's white, but if I scroll down, I'm gonna have this option for a transparent background. So let's go and pick that. And now we can come into File, Download, PNG. And then let's open that. And as you can see, I have a transparent background now around my image. I'm not seeing that white background. But what if I export it instead as a, as a JPEG? Let's come in and do that so you can see what that looks like. So here's my JPEG, and here's my PNG for comparison. And what you're gonna notice is even though my background on my slide is set to transparent, my JPEG has a white background instead. Here's my, my PNG with the transparent background. So one thing to keep in mind when selecting your file format is that PNGs allow for transparency or JPEGs don't. So if that's important for what you're gonna be doing, you wanna make sure to select PNG. Now we can also bring in images either from my computer or from Google. So I can come up here from insert, image, here's from my computer, but I can search the web. And so here, this is gonna search Google images, which I do wanna caution you, I, you going to want to make sure that you're selecting images that they have a license that allows you to use them. Let's just search for character here. And then we'll select this guy down here. And here, this little magnifying glass, I recommend checking that. You can click on that and what that's going to do is it's going to give you kind of a preview of your character. So here we can see that I've got a transparent background around this character. So I've got, I'm working with uh, most likely a PNG. Now down here it also, it says that the image is labeled for commercial use with modification. Only select images that you've confirmed that you have the license to use. 
And you can verify this by coming into this link, which is going to take you to the site where the image is coming from. Now, sometimes these images um, are not coming from the original site. Sometimes it's an, a site that's pulling from a different site. So sometimes you need to do a little bit of detective work to make sure that you're finding the actual information about the file and if there's any attributions or that type of thing that need to be uh, in, included if you're going to use the file. For this one, I did my due diligence and I found that it is fine for me to use it and I can make modifications. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my image. And then here it is on my Google slide. I can resize it a bit. And then maybe I'd like it to look like he's standing on a rug or something. So let's come and add a shape. Add something like this. We'll move it to the back. And then let's change the color. Brown. And now from here, I can come in, I can select my background again, I can make sure it is transparent, and then I can export it as a uh, PNG again. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to leave the background as white, because I want to show you how you can go about removing a background, just in case that's something that you need to do. So let's go ahead and save this image now. And then I'm going to open it up. I'm on a Mac, so I'm using Preview, uh, but if you're using a Windows computer, I would recommend doing uh, this in Paint 3D. Uh, the options aren't available in Paint, and that is something that you might need to download, but it is, for, it is free. Um, preview as well for Mac is free, and it's included with your OS. All right, so I'm going to come into View, and I'm going to come down to Show Our Markup Toolbar. Then I'm going to, what I'm going to do first is crop this down because I don't want so much white space. But I'm going to leave a little bit of white space around my character here. I'm going to show you why here in a minute. So here's my image, but I, I have that white background that I don't want. There's two things that I can do in preview to remove that background. The first is I can come up to tools, and there's an option to remove the background. So I'm going to select that, but unfortunately, sometimes it removes too much. So as you can see, it removed most of the rug that I have my guy standing on. So that's unfortunate, but I can do a control Z. I can bring back that background. And now I'm going to try a different option. I'm going to come up here to this little magic wand looking thing. And I'm going to click and drag. And that just selects that white color as a uh, being what the thing that I want to remove. So you can see that I've got this dotted line now around everything. And now if I hit delete, we're going to see that that background is now gone. So now I can save my image. And now I can bring that into rise. So let's come down here to all blocks again. Come into our images, image and text. I'm going to replace our image. So there's our image. And I can come in and I can change my background color. And we can see that my image has that transparent background. So I hope you found this helpful.